Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 31. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we are here taking part in the Amateur Cup races again. We're starting with level 25 events now. Done all level t 10, 15, 20, on to 25. Uh, and we are looking at this 5x5 Super Sprint, which is basically V10 engines. Uh, we're taking the Gallardo, and I've upgraded it like crazy. So this should be pretty quick. It's apparently faster than the Porsche that we're going against. And what's really cool, we finally got Test Track Infield. King Cobra. So starting off with Sebring, moving over to Laguna Seca, then three laps around the full test track, and then Road Atlanta. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Sebring. Oh, we're off. That's the four-wheel drive kicking in there. Oh, this car's loud as well. Got some, uh, I think we've got sports tires on. I think that's what the one below race is. I think it's sports. So it's like stock, street, race, uh, stock, street, sports, then race tires. Yes. This thing's bloody quick. <laughs> I am so happy I'm driving this in this game. And the fact that Lamborghini makes a semi-decent appearance in this game. Pretty nice. Nothing will beat the fact that the Reventon is in Motorsport 3. Not at all. That's 150 miles an hour getting towards the end of the straight there. It's crazy fast. Yo, Reloading, what's up? Welcome. Hi, vroom, vroom, zoom, zoom, vroom, vroom. Agreed. <laughs> That's pretty much all this car is. It's very loud. As I'm finding out. But loud is very good. We've only got a two second lead on that car behind though. So these upgrades really are helping us. I also would not recommend taking a corner like that. But uh, who cares? Easily 160, 165 miles an hour there. Very bumpy through that final section. Porsche's got a little more distance now. This isn't even the fastest car that we've driven yet. But this feels like the fastest. Because it's just so much more stable. And because of the fact that it's more stable, it feels faster. Uh, not bad. I love this, though. And I'm completing all of these. Manual gearboxes. All of these games with a manual gearbox. That's awesome. Honestly, this is a project I've wanted to do for years. Ah! 
And what's really cool is I finally have got all the equipment ready for me to uh, play WRC. So once I finish with the Forza Mega Series, I'm doing a WRC Mega Series. That one will be a lot shorter though. It, 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 that one I'd probably complete all the games within a year. Maybe even quicker to be honest. Because the only thing I'm doing for that is going through every single season. Like season mode. 100% in those games are ridiculous. So. Not bad. Bum 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 Oh bum 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 This bloody Lamborghini is amazing And so is this song Accelerate by graphics Woohoo I am kind of disappointed the graphics didn't just add the songs that you'd already released as singles into this album. I know the songs are there, but the fact that if I was buying the album, I would have liked more songs on said album, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. It's a cracking album nonetheless. But there are some singles that he did that were just phenomenal that I think deserved a spot on that album. And he only put one single that he ever released on that album. Like, seems a bit strange. The music industry is very confusing nowadays because artists do their own thing now. It's weird. Don't want to be your monkey ranch. Not bad. That's our first race done. It's fairly short as well. Short and sweet. How I like it. That sounded really bad. <laughs> Alright, we're now around Laguna Seca. In the La Lamborghini. Very loud automobile. -y. I like how Laguna Seca actually is one of the few tracks that I know of that only has one layout. Like, there's no alternate layout when it comes to Laguna Seca. You go to Laguna Seca, you're going around the whole thing. It's a little like the Nordschleifer in Germany. If you go on that, it's the whole thing. I think that's pretty cool. I think there's a very small number of tracks that actually do that nowadays. Because most tracks will try and be multi-purpose. Get some of the most money. Whereas this, this is, I, I will give Laguna Seca props, is a track designed for multi-purpose in mind. Whilst also being one route. 
Like, you could drive anything around this track, and it still feels like it belongs. Not bad. I think we probably will have shaved off easily five seconds just because of the fact we didn't have a standing start for this lap. We'll find out in a second. Okay, 3.7. Was a bit off, but still quite, quite some time. Not bad. Three more laps to go. Not bad. This car definitely loves flowing around these corners. It's also awesome to be getting up into those higher performance cars now. Like a majority of these races are going to be in higher performance cars. We're starting to get into those higher performance cars. But again, when it comes to then doing the level 25 endurance events, which is going to be in a couple of episodes, those are going to be end up being done in lower end cars so it really does as long as you're doing them in order you actually end up with quite a variety you sort of go two steps forward one step back at all times and that i love because you end up mixing everything up quite dramatically obviously not when it comes to progression never want to do two steps forward one step back that's recipe for disaster but when it comes to, like, the performance index and, like, the speed of the cars that you're going in. Two step forward, one step back is sort of a good way. Going like that. Bumping upwards. Ever so slightly. It's a really nice way of keeping it fun, keeping it exciting, and not making it all about the fast stuff. I think that's why motorsport... 3 and 4 was so much better because there were the really slow stuff that you could do. And then guess what? Motorsport 5 had to come along and ruin it all by giving you a pretty quick car from the start. Oh no. Mr. Lambo Man has crashed. AKA me. I now have steering problems and no front bumper. But guess what? We persevere. Because it was my fault we crashed. It's my problem to deal with. Well, I mean, the problem's quite easily dealt with by just pressing restart, to be perfectly honest, but. I'm a challenge myself. Okay, yeah, this is a bad idea. I probably should have restarted. Let's do it anyways. We just got to keep a Porsche Carrera off our houses. And to be perfectly honest, the engine is perfectly fine. I think maybe we've got a loss of power as we're turning because of the drive shaft. 
in the differential. But the suspension and the uh, brakes have a little bit of damage. They're fine. It's just the steering. I will admit that car is catching up. But again, the AI is a little bit stupid when it comes to trying to overtake. Nicely done. I love that this car is basically a reskinned Audi R8. I think that's really funny. It's an Audi R8 with an extra two cylinders. <laughs> that's basically what it is. There you go, not bad. 13 grand. Obviously didn't expect much because I crashed the fucking thing. Right, we are now here on test track. First time in this game, the full track. It's called King Cobra. Let's get going. This is what it's all about. Those are engines, though. The Dodge Viper's a weird one, though, because all of the other cars here have quite a, like, kind of engine noise. And then the Viper's just like a V8 with an extra cough. <laughs> it doesn't have a proper V8, uh, V10 sound, which is why it always confuses me. Not going very well. I mean, it's definitely good going around this track for like testing cars because test track definitely is the best. It like proper tests cars, hence why it's called test track. But the problem is, it's not a very good race track, it's not good for racing other people on. It's good for experiencing what the best of your car is. But when... Like this, I'm going to be stuck behind this Carrera for a while. I'm also going to be stuck behind it for a while if I'm not shifting properly. That's probably a good shout. Fucking shift. Oh, come on. I've lost my brakes now. Porsche, get out of the way. I'm done with your shit. No! Alright, I think we got away with that. I think for the S-Class events, I'm going to see if I can take, like, Ferrari Enzo. I'm definitely going to be taking a Ferrari around Mugello. Just because... Why wouldn't you? It's an Italian track. I want to see if the Enzo is going to be unlocked by that point, though. I hope it is. Oh, God. That was... Way too close for comfort. I hated that. With... Every bone in my body. 
My name is Pac-Man. I still don't get why they picked three laps when all the other races on this has been six minutes. They then give us one race that's going to take 12 minutes to complete. Like, that seems a bit... Like, they had done so well keeping everything fairly balanced, and then they throw this curveball in. Like, at least have a race that... Oh, it takes eight minutes to do. It's a slight bit longer than the other ones. Nope. Take this, you're going for 12 minutes. Like, what the hell? I'm pretty sure though test track was quite a empty track from the last game. It was obviously the same layout, but I'm pretty sure it was empty completely. I think for this one, they've actually added, like, spectators and stands and stuff like that. Which is awesome, mind you, because that's cool. Not bad. Whoa! I went into reverse by accident. Nearly fucked up my race. That would have been very embarrassing, but guess what? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Right, I'm going to proper try for this one.
Not bad. Two point seven seconds. Three seconds now. Come on. This is amazing. The speed that I've managed to just discover out of this car. No! Well, that's all in the bin. It was going so well. It was going so well, then we got the penalty, so now the lap time is basically invalidated. There you go. 1.174 above now. Yeah, fucked it completely. Ah, oh, gutted. I was doing so well at the start. It was gonna be an amazing lap time. I'm pretty sure Forza has had the same steering model for like the entire time Forza has existed. Oh shit. That was a crack of a light bulb. Guaranteed. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Not bad. I think next level, uh, next race will be level 33. Alright, attempt number two. We're going to try this again. Um, and then, hopefully after this, we'll then start driving some Ferraris. If this game doesn't want to mess with me. Oh, I shifted up too soon. Porsche, stay back. That's fair enough, though, Hans. How are you enjoying it? I think... I, I'm not sure whether it was Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge that I was messing around with the other day, but I quite enjoyed it, whichever one it was. On the original Xbox. Revenge was my childhood game at PS2. Fair enough. Not bad. Reaching now. Hi. Fuck. No, I 
looking back from the underground. Yeah, some of the music in older games is insane. I know um, Burnout Paradise, fucking love that game, uh, had some interesting music on it. It had, sta I'm pretty sure it had Stand and Deliver by Adam and the Ants, which was like an interesting song. Um, but it also had My Curse, there was a couple of other songs. My Curse was the one I liked. Oh, and obviously Paradise City. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Won't you please take me home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to agree that that is a classic. Uh, Burnout Paradise was both published by EA. Both the normal one and the remastered one. Uh, get out of the dirt, fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> the developer was Criterion, who developed it. And then the publisher was EA for both, both occasions. Because remember, Criterion is a developer under EA's wing, so... Oh my god, it's a wild sneaky. Where's my dino nuggies? <laughs> How are you today, sneaky? Also, Aaron, welcome back to the chat. My man. Back from the underground. After this, I'm going to put some metric on. Metric is a legend. Ooh. I I would agree and disagree. I think the ideal music era was 2006 to 2012 because when you look at like games like Forza Motorsport 4, Forza Motorsport 3 they had phenomenal soundtracks like there was like three or four pendulum songs included in those um you've obviously got the need for speeds like Hot Pursuit 2010, that was crazy good. The Run was good. Most Wanted 2012 had a pretty good soundtrack. I think soundtracks started dying off after about 2012. So I'd, I'd say 2006 to 2012. Um, but there are a couple of gems outside of that window. I think Midnight Club 3? Dub Remix? Um... I think that was a 2000 and... It was either a 2004 game or a 2005 game or a 2003. That soundtrack on that game was phenomenal. It had Calyx and TB, which if you don't know who Calyx and TB are, absolutely talented drum and bass artists. And there were some Calyx and TB songs. There were just some Calyx songs, some TB songs. It was a really good variety. And the thing is, you also were able to pick which ones as well. Hey, awesome, Aaron. Mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Cheers for the uh, Dino Nuggy Sneaky. Meow, meow, meow. I'm not even a fan of Phasmophobia. It's the mad game. It's not that great. I bought on Steam. Fair enough. To be honest, Phasmophobia goes extremely cheap when it's on sale on Steam. Because no it's it's not that much 
it's a popular game, but people aren't buying it at full price at all. So it, when it goes on sale, it goes cheap. Same with Payday. You would have saved yourself a substantial amount on that Legacy Collection, though, if you bought it on uh, Eniba. Definitely. Because that Legacy Collection was cheaper on there. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Not bad. <laughs> ah! Let's see how. Oh, no, no, no. Why have I lost... Why am I losing control? I can't be run out of... Uh, tires. Not bad. Coming up to the finish line. We got result. I'll take my rewards, thank you. It was still not level 33. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, I will take that dodge and I will take the 26 grand. Thank you very much. Not bad, actually. I like that. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.